This is News OK TV. This is News OK TV. Well, it is time for News OK TV for Wednesday, September 14th, 2011. I'm Angie Bruss. Thanks for joining me. Local investors bought Crossroads Mall on Tuesday. Raptor Properties plans to keep the building open as a mall. The company paid three and a half million dollars for the property. Investors say they hope to work with Oklahoma City and South Oklahoma City Chamber officials to revive mall retail. Raptor officials say the building is still in good shape, but they will need to make some improvements on appearance. Crossroads Mall had been owned by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York since 2008. A local developer is moving forward with his plans for parking along the Bricktown Canal. Chris Johnson's plans call for street level parking on the inside curve of the canal, as well as additional parking along Mickey Mantle Drive. Johnson submitted a new application to the Bricktown Urban Design Group Wednesday after his first application was denied earlier this year. This won't be the first time Johnson has opened a parking facility in Bricktown. Several years ago, he opened a lot east of Zeo's. A new designer line at Target created a shopping frenzy on Tuesday. Target's website crashed several times as shoppers logged on to see Missoni's new products. The 400-piece line includes everything from bikes to stationery to clothing. Several Oklahoma brewers will be pouring their beverages at the Great American Beer Festival. Local producers entering the contest include Battered Boar, Chalk Beer, Coop Ale Works, and Marshall Brewing Company. The festival takes place in Denver on September 29th and runs through October 1st. Well, get ready for a cool down Oklahoma. Thursday's high may not even hit the 70 degree mark. Highs will be in the upper 60s on Thursday. There is a 60% chance of showers and storms, and the chance for rain continues through the weekend. The Sooners are getting ready for Saturday's matchup against Florida State. OU did not play last weekend and the team took advantage of the off week. But Coach Stoops says the Seminoles defensive line could pose a challenge for his team. A year ago, geez, they just mangled all kind of quarterbacks. So um, they did a great job of two things. I think getting pressure, you know, quick pressure and getting the people. But they also did a nice job of make, making people squeeze the ball in coverage and then getting to you know to the quarterback so either way they've you know they've done a great job getting pressure and sacks so that'll be a big challenge to for the defensive or you know for our offensive line to hold their defensive line out and bob stoops mother says she won't be at the fsu ou game this weekend coach stoops brother mark is the defensive coordinator for the seminoles d stoops says those games are hard to watch because someone has to lose and there are no ties anymore. Well, the Cowboys have had a little over a week to prepare for this Saturday's game against Tulsa. The two schools have been facing off on the gridiron for several years, and it's a tradition that has many benefits. Well, I think that it's uh, it's good that uh, we have an opportunity to play down the road and uh, uh, gives them a chance to fill up their stadium and gives us a chance to fill up our stadium. Uh, I think it's good for college football when fans can get to a game fairly easy. Everybody's so busy now with their own life that uh, with kids and such that if they can get to a ball game and, and enjoy it, um, I think it's it's good for college footballs. Well, the Oklahoma State Fair kicks off on Thursday. Opening day admission is just $2 per person and opening ceremonies begin at 5 p.m. The fair will be open through the 25th of September. And that's it for today. Have a wonderful Wednesday and we'll see you here tomorrow.